The doctrine of self-defense permits individuals to use reasonable force to protect themselves from imminent death or serious physical injury. But when may an individual legally use force in defense of another person? The West Virginia Supreme Court considered this question in State v. Cook. Brenda and Gerald Cook were harassed and threatened by several neighbors, including Homer Buckler, after they installed a fence and rocks along the boundary of their land. On May 7, 1997, Buckler parked in front of the Cook's land and started throwing rocks at Gerald. When Brenda heard the men arguing, she walked out of the house and discharged a shotgun, hoping her warning shot would make Buckler leave. This only angered Buckler further, and he refused to listen to the Cook's repeated pleas for him to leave. When Gerald turned to walk away, Buckler, who was significantly larger, attacked Gerald. The two men exchanged punches, and Buckler threw Gerald to the ground and started beating him. Gerald couldn't defend himself and begged Buckler to stop. After Brenda's attempt to pull Buckler off Gerald were unsuccessful, she shot Buckler in the arm. Buckler died as a result of his injuries, and Brenda was charged with murder. At trial, Brenda asserted the defense of another doctrine. The trial judge instructed the jury on the defense as a justification for Brenda's actions. The jury found Brenda guilty of second-degree murder, and the trial court sentenced her to a 25-year prison term. Brenda appealed to the West Virginia Supreme Court.